so uh, we are still at exercise 4.1. I'm doing question 32. A, yeah. A is the easiest, eh? Do you know why? Nigel, what is your A? Very good. Do you know why is it 3? I understand what Matthew is saying. Do you understand what Matthew is saying? Let, let me try let me try to translate what Matthew is saying. Uh, Matthew is saying if you focus on X alone, do you agree that I mean A alone, do you agree that A times X, AX times X times X, what do you get? AX cubed. And AX cubed correspond to 3X cubed. I challenge you to find me one more term I multiply to get x cubed. Is there such a thing? Look at b. bx plus b, no x cubed. Look at c. c itself, no x cubed. The only possible place to have x cubed is in this term, right? But I have three things here. If I expand, I'll get nine things, right? So I don't want to expand thoroughly, but I just want to show you uh, in a simpler way easier way to see. Can you accept if I were to expand this? Plus 1 minus 5 minus 4x minus 5. Now if I have this and this, there's only one term I expand, I will get x cubed. That is ax times x squared, right? The rest will not give you x cubed. The rest will give you x squared. So what can you conclude by comparing coefficient of x cubed 3 equals a? One mark. Uh, huh? Then they will ask you how you get this. Is it because you pick over Dexter's work? No, right? Ah, uh, can. You explain everything? Okay. Explain correct, no mark. Explain wrong, minus mark. Ah, uh, explain wrong what? Explain wrong and matter mark. So, my suggestion is uh, careful. Lah. Don't explain, lah. just do selective law, right? X don't need. But you see, uh, for B itself, uh, do you still want to expand? Don't want to. Uh, I go and use the easiest way. B X equals to what? Wrong. Wrong. X equals to what? Then I will destroy B. Negative? 1, right? Ah, you see. X is negative 1, ah. Huh? When X is negative 1, what happened? Negative 3, negative 11, plus 23, minus 2. Equal? 3 plus 1, minus 6. Oh, 0, 0. Do you see 0? plus 0 plus C. Do you see C suddenly appear? You see, minus 1 plus 1, ma, 0. Ma. Minus 1 plus 1, 0. Ma. So that's the best thing that can happen. Make it 0. So it's C. Ah, so it's C. La. So A and C solve already. Ma. Just like that. Need to explain or not? No need. No need. Up to you. But explain wrong minus mark. So my suggestion, don't. You can use other method as long as the answer is the same. C equals to 7. Do you get it? Yeah. Uh, good. I, I take a look. Now, last one. I want to find B. Then I use my favorite number. Law. X equals 0. Can. I guarantee you it's the same. C is 7. C is 7. Okay, I pause 